and then we will add our product in the database in our next video all right so first of all uh, in my backend folder i'm going to create a new folder that is called models in that i simply type here uh, create a new file that is called product product.js so first of all i simply import my mongoose all right so after importing the mongoose i simply type here const product schema so we have to create a schema here that is mongoose dot schema that we have to pass our schema of the product and i will simply type here first of all module dot exports equals to mongoose dot model and the name of the model is product and then we have to pass the schema that is the product schema all right so model this mongoose uh, product schema so first of all we have the name of the product so we type here name so type will be string and then required true and i will add here an array because i also want to display the message if user doesn't pass the name so that is going to be please enter product name all right and then also i will simply add here trim to true because i want to remove all the blank spaces from start and end then you can also specify here the max length so that is max length and that is going to be 100 100 characters now this is optional you can type anything here whatever you want simply type here now you can see that i have installed a, a extension that is tab 9 that's basically give me the recommendations you can see that here it is automatically giving the recommendation from the for the code autocomplete you can also install that if you want it saves a lot of time so you can see that plus uh, please enter product uh sorry this is not correct please uh, not please product name cannot exceed 100 characters all right and then after name we have the price so i'm simply copy this from here add comma simply type here price and then type here price also and this is going to be number not string and then it move this from here trim so max length is going to be five can exceed five characters and then I also want to keep here the default value that is going to be 0, $0.0 dollars all right so by default it is 0, $0.0 and then we also have to add the description so simply again copy this name from here that is going to be description of that product so description so please enter product description trim I simply remove it from here and also remove this one from here so type string and required true please enter product description and so name product description and then we also have ratings so ratings means that the average rating of that product like for example if one user has given the five star and other user has given the four star this means that the overall rating is 4.5 so this is that rating so simply type here type number and so we type here default is going to be uh, zero all right so we have to pass here ratings that is number and default is zero and now we also have to type here the let's add images here so images of that product now we know that there are multiple images of products so this is going to be an array of of object so first of all we have to type here the public id right so i want to tell you that i'm going to use cloudinary which is a third party website that help us to upload videos and uh, images basically so i'm going to use the cloudinary to store my images in that 
So Cloudinary basically gives us a lot of things in response when we upload our image and we have to only store two things. First of all the image ID then the image URL. So image ID is called the public ID. So I will discuss all these things when we will add Cloudinary in our application. So the public ID is the ID of that image and that is of type string. All right, and then uh, basically it is required. So required true. And then also we need to uh, basically save the URL of that image that Cloudinary will give us. So that is the URL. All right. So images is an array of object and each object contains two things. First of all, the ID of that image and then the URL of that image and these two values and we're going to get these values from the cloud array. So we have added the name, price, description, ratings, images. And now let's handle the category of that product. So we type here, category. So type is string. And then simply type here required true. So please enter or please select category for this product so it is required now you can give uh, now it is also fine but i want to give some specific values that i only want to have these categories because if you will add something weird in category then that will be difficult especially in case of filtering the products all right so i'm going to specify my own categories here i simply type here uh, enum enum values and this is going to be an object that contains the values so values is going to be an array of categories first of all we have here electronics then i also add here cameras whatever you want to add you can add here so we type here laptop then let's also add here accessories also add here like headphones also add here food books uh, books books and also clothes slash shoes then also you can type here like beauty slash health and then sports outdoor home and in this case these categories are enough you can definitely add your own categories according to your requirements and if you doesn't select the correct category we simply type here message that will be please select correct category for product all right so we simply specify here enum values that are these that if you should enter anything else we simply have to display the message that please select the correct category for this product so now after category i also have to store the seller so this is simply type here seller that is type string and required to true please enter product seller and after that i also have to store the stock of this product that is definitely going to be type number and it is also required so required true please enter product stock and then also type here max length for this I simply type here like 
four or to the five is enough so that is product cannot exceed five characters now you can see that how helpful this tab 9 extension is it is giving me the recommendations and it is really fast to code with this tab 9 extension you can definitely use that again i am i want to tell you that all right so now i'm going to type here default that is zero then after stock i also type here num of reviews that the total number of reviews of for this product like five reviews or six reviews like that so type is number then default value is going to be zero after number of reviews we have here the reviews itself reviews for that product so that is also going to be because we have multiple reviews on one product so that is going to be also array of reviews so array of oops object the first of all we have to store the user but right now we don't have uh, basically user model here so simply i'm going to type here name name of that user that is going to be the type string and that is required true right and then also i want to add here the rating type is going to be number and required true and then also you have here the comment of that review so comment is going to be type string and then required to true all right i also want to add the id of that user which has posted a review but right now we don't have any user model so we will add it later when we'll add our user right so this is reviews and then also I want to also simply add here one more thing that is called created at type date and then default is going to be date dot now and that's it simply save it our product model is ready we have simply created here uh, the name price description ratings now the, we have an array of images that contain two things first of all the id of that image and the url of that image and we're going to get this id and url from the cloudinary when we upload our image there all right so I, I will explain that later next we have a category i have given the enum values uh, on these categories that user have to select only from these categories right then we have the seller stock number of reviews then the uh, reviews array that contains the name rating com uh, comment and also later we will add the user in it user id and then the created ad also so our product model is ready in my next video i will add my first route to create a new product all right so i will see you in the next video